Three bright sparks. The bright sparks are getting that limo, no matter what the big shots do. Three big shots. May the best team win. I'm afraid it's going to be us. Two new products. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> but only one team can win. I have the result right here. Beat the bus. I'm businesswoman Syrah Khan and this is Beat the Boss, the show where three bright spots take on three business big shots to create a brand new product for the children's market. The question is, who knows what you really want? Throughout so today's challenge, I'll use my business know-how to make sure both our team's taste buds are on track as they develop a brand new flavour of crisp. Our bright sparks are Rua, Alan and Leah. First up, Rua. This ice maiden loves to have fun messing around on the slopes. She's one cool customer. Big shot, you're going down. Next, Alan. Chess champion who never makes a wrong move when it comes to winning. Big shot. Business is like a game of chess. It's all about tactics. And I've got all the right moves. And finally, Leah, an all-singing, all-dancing performer who's never happier than when she's in the spotlight. Big shots. The Bright Sparks are said to stage in this competition. There's no room for losers. Those are the Bright Sparks. Now let's meet their competition, the Big Shots. They're Obi, Claire and Neil. First up, award winner Obi. He runs a new media business, bringing people together using social networking websites. Bright Sparks, you're going to be competing against some of the best people in business. All I can say is, watch out. Meet Claire, boss of a performing arts business. Her company stages over 500 performances a year. So Bright Sparks, you better be some special team if you think you're going to beat us. Finally, entrepreneur Neil. The sky's the limit for this big shot. He runs multiple businesses and success has given him a taste for the high life. Bright Sparks, they don't stand a chance. They're overconfident, inexperienced little pipsqueaks and quite frankly, they should just go home now. So those are our teams, the big shots with over 30 years business experience and the Bright Sparks who are number one when it comes to their knowledge of the children's market. They'll be battling it out for the Beat the Boss trophy. It's time to serve up the brief. Good morning, Bright Sparks. Good morning. How are you feeling? Nervous and excited. I don't feel worried about it at all. I think we'll, we'll be all right. Obi, what is your nightmare brief? Toys. I want it to be something to do with food. I think it has to be creative so we can use our creativity and the knowledge that we have that adults don't. Neil, what would make you really upset today? Anything to do with food. What does winning mean to you? Winning for me means another trophy for the mantelpiece. Uh, failure is not an option. We're going to win and that's the end of it really. You sound confident. You look pretty good. <laughs> Are you ready to receive the brief? No. Yeah. <laughs> You'll need to get your creative juices flowing for this tasty task. Your team has to come up with a brand new flavour of crisp for children. Ooh, yay! Food, <laughs> food, food, food. <laughs> get the food! And you must design some appetising packaging to wow the target market. <laughs> Neil, I have to come to you. How do you feel? Oh, it's food. Does that count? It's food. It you it. eat it. Okay, it's more fun than, uh, than what it could be. That's, that's not too bad. I really think we can win this because now it's something that we really wanted that we can enjoy. Chris, that's what we have day to day and I don't think the big shots would be having Chris at work all the time. I tend to live on a diet of crisps and chocolate, so I'm quite looking forward to getting into the challenge. The teams will have their work cut out to create a brand new crisp that will munch through the competition. Last year we spent a whopping 1.47 billion on these tasty treats with the nation's favourite cheese and onion. I've sent both teams off to do their market research. The bright spots are going to a supermarket to see what already exists on the shelves and the big shots are going back to school to find out what flavours get top marks from you. What's your flavour? 
Tell me what's your flavour? We've got cheese flavours, we've got um, prawn cocktails, we've got spicy chilli. Inspired by their market research, the Bright Sparks are full steam ahead when it comes to thinking of unique flavours. Maybe we could try like to mimic a soup. So you've got tomato soup, you've got vegetable soup, you've, you've got, got minestrone soup. Yeah. I think we should try to be a bit yeah, healthy. Yeah, we should show that we're trying to be healthy. But, but I think not that the flavour should yeah. come first. The different flavours that we're thinking about is we're thinking about candy flask flavours. We've also been thinking about a pizza flavour um, crisp. So I'd have like the cheese and the tomato all in one. The bright sparks are buzzing with ideas, while the big shots are on a mission to find out what you like to eat from those in the know. Dinner ladies. Panini is the most popular in the world. 60 a day. The most tasty meat. Yeah. Just a little tiny bit more food. They're not on properly. They're not? No, they're opening like that. Oh, I see. I wouldn't qualify for a job here, put it that way. With the boys' paninis finished just in time, the big shots are coming face to face with the lunchtime rush and hordes of hungry children. Terrifying as kids. <laughs> what kind of pasta sauces would you like that, that um, they don't? I quite like tomato and things that are spicy. What are you guys having? Um, I like some pasta. If you could design any flavour of crisps, what would it be? Sausage chips. Spaghetti bolognese. While Neil and Obi continue serving, Claire's out in the canteen getting some flavour ideas. Salad like kebab. I'm roasting a flavour crisp. Sushi. Chicken tikka. I think curry is good. I think curry is quite consistent with what we're thinking. We're also thinking of experimenting with some sort of sweeter type flavours as well. Chip flavoured crisp. Mm. Food for thought for the big shots, while the bright spots are about to get a lesson in taste from award winning food expert James. You take this sponge, right? And think of it as a tongue. And the tongue's got all of these little taste buds over it. And as you chew, the flavour goes over the taste buds, then the brain gets a signal. Some signals you like and some signals you don't. Eat it, eat it, get James puts their taste buds to the test as he shows them how to combine different foods like lamb and mint, duck and plum and chilli chocolate to get different tastes. Try a bit of tomato, and the tomato becomes a different flavour with the basil. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You like those pizzas, don't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Keen to experiment with more sweet flavours, the bright spots want to try out their strawberry and marshmallow crisp idea. That is really good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's really nice. Bright sparks. What have you learnt so far, Rua? You don't have to just have the ordinary something like pizza by itself. It goes with. Things that you wouldn't expect it would go with. Our best combination though is strawberries and marshmallows at the minute. I think it's great that you've been very adventurous with flavours here. Now remember, it's not just flavour, you've also got to think about your packaging. The big shots test out their ideas. First up, roast dinner flavour with turkey, horseradish sauce and gravy. Oh no, what's it got a skin on it? Bendy crisps. Oh. With roast dinner definitely off the menu, will their pizza idea get a better reaction? That's really nice. That is nice. Is it nice? That's good. Yeah. Like pizza, That's it? a good yeah. combination. Yeah. It's a thumbs up for pizza, and will lunchtime favourite curry also be a big hit with the testers? Nice, but they've already got stuff like that. Yeah. What's the position then? Should we move on from curry? Yeah. yeah. With mixed reactions to curry crisps. They move from savoury to sweet, but will fruit, sherbet and chocolate prove a winning combination? So nice. That's nice. Wow. Is that really tasty? Uh -huh. We can say then that the sweet ones have been like a good success. Yeah. Yeah. Like them. yeah? yeah. Big shots. How have you found this market research? The taste test has proved that the spicy option, which most of the children over lunchtime favoured, is not a real hit now. Remember, there are two parts to your brief. You've spent a long time talking about flavours. Mm -hmm. You've now got to talk about packaging. The Bright Sparks are meeting up with design and marketing experts Phil and Ollie to get some ideas on packaging, while the big shots are staying with their taste testers. This one it looks like kind of cool because it's got like silvery bits that stand out. I like the ones with like one bold definite colour. I like this one, I like the stripes on it and the silver colour. Sweet. 
put no. something in the packet as well? Yeah, like, yeah. A like a toy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, like, yeah. which is better, a card to collect or a toy? Cards. And to get the Bright Spots thinking about the look of their packet, Phil and Ollie set them a task of creating a mood board to generate some ideas. So if we start with colour then. You need to be able to sort of look at that and without reading too many words actually understand what it is, what the flavour is and what you're yeah. going to do with it. Have a look at different styles of sort of illustration, different styles of character. Throw out anything that's either too young or too old. The sort of fonts they've used, the colours. Yeah, see those two colours go really well. I think this type of font's good because it seems a bit animated. Free gifts, things to collect, things to send off for, tokens. All those things you can add to the packaging to make that product more appealing. I think it's a very good start, that. A good work this afternoon. And uh, we hope you win. Both teams have thrown everything into their market research. It's now time for the brainstorm. Both teams have experimented with all sorts of flavours in their quest to come up with a brand new crisp. But what will they go for? Probably the pizza one is what I would choose. Yeah, me too. Both. We're not making them. We're not them. 12. Yeah. What really hit, hit them off um, was the chocolate yeah. and the sweets. We were going to do candy floss, strawberry and marshmallows. But we had to think about when we actually had the crisp, we wouldn't have the texture of the strawberry and the marshmallow. Mm. It will just be a crisp. So do we want to change to pizza then? Because um, everyone likes pizza and we could have sachets of different flavours. So it's pizza flavour for the bright spots and sherbet fruit flavour for the big shots. And Claire's got a great idea how to incorporate chocolate into their design. Imagine that like seals in the seam in the middle of it is like the chocolate. And then that way you can like reach in and get your crisp out. But then squeeze a bit right, of chocolate so on it and seals. eat it. Yeah, it's the like two separate compartments in, exactly. and that's got... And the bright spots have come up very quickly with pizza toppings, but will they suit the target market? Olives, cheese and tomato, chili flakes and basil. How many times do you eat olives in a day? Mm. How many times do you eat chili in a day? Not much. Not much? Mm. So what's going to make you think that your friends are all of a sudden going to like olives and chili? Back to the drawing board and I'll be back later and hopefully you've got some sensible flavours. Sarah came over and she just made us really see that some of the flavours weren't as good as they could be and she just prompted us along into the right um, way of thinking. So while they go back to the drawing board on flavouring, the big shots think they've come up with a winning name. Boom, up to now. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You should be laughing because that's ridiculous, isn't it? Sarah coming in was really funny. It was like, I'm not used to being tails off. And it was, yeah, it was really funny. It was like being back at school. While it may be D minus for their name, it's top marks for the Bright Sparks as they're working really well on developing some more suitable flavours. Barbecue sauce. Um, I actually know a lot of people, a lot of people like that, um, including my brother and myself, who like the barbecue sauce and a pizza. So with time running out, both teams now turn their attention to the packaging. Pizza could be our main person. And then we have smaller characters, which are the flavourings. Flavourings. Are we still going with the, the coloured waves? The big pizza in the middle, then at the top, should we pick red, because that's a bright colour over yellow. And then what, what are we called? F-I-Z-Z. -Z. P. P. Right. I think for the back we should have the comic strip, we should have our collector's card. And then we've got chocolate dripping at the bottom. Big shots, I'm very sorry now, but your time is up. Can you please present yes. your final idea? Okay, we are going to have a packet of crisp, but the flavours are a shaved fruit. We are going to have a chocolate sauce that can either be dipped into, drank from, or wiped on the crisp. What's it called? We are calling ourselves fizz. Fizz. Because it's like crisps, but the fizzy. Mm -hmm. Good, I can see that, I can see how it works. Fantastic. Bright Sparks, your time is up. Now, Alan, can you please present your final idea? This is pizza party. You have a tomato and cheese background as a flavour, and you have four unique flavours which are in sachets which have a pocket. 
On the back we have a comic with all our different characters, which are the flavours. And then we have a card, you can trade it and you can play with them. That was an excellent presentation. I could visualise it and I understood your concept. Very well done. So the bright spots are pitching pizza party. Pizza flavoured crisps you can customise with four separate flavours with colourful packaging, trading cards and a comic strip. While the big shots are presenting their newly named crisps. A sweet sherbet crisp with three fruit flavours, chocolate sauce and flying discs. But only one team can win the Beat the Boss trophy. So the pressure's on as they meet for the first time at Seabrook, one of the UK's leading family-owned manufacturer of branded crisps. The teams will be pitching to company chairman Ken and his team, John and Phil. I'm excited about meeting the big shots because we're going to meet our competition and see what they think of us. I'm feeling very positive. We've done a lot of research and a lot of um, brainstorming sessions. All I can say to the Bright Spice is, watch out. Just to let you know, you're going to lose. I don't know about that, you know, our product is really good. Our product is fantastic, we've come up with a new unique idea. I can't think you're going to be able to beat us. Well, we've done a little bit of research on you guys, and I've got a present for you, but you're going to have to share it. Okay? <laughs> excuse me, excuse me. Big Boss Ken steps in to break up the war of words, and tosses a coin to decide who'll pitch first. Sparks would like to call. It's tails, I'm afraid. The big shots win the toss, but let the bright sparks go first. OK, bright sparks, if you'd like to come with me. So, as Alan kicks off their pitch... We've come up with a new crisp flavour. It is called... Pizza Party. The big shots kick off with a game of air hockey. Really, it's to calm down the pre-match nerves. Pitches can be very, very nerve-wracking. No such problems for the Bright Sparks as Rua serves up their proposed flavours. It's over to Leah. Our packaging is orange. It's bright and it attracts. If it was on a shelf, you'd see it. It stands out. The back of the packaging will consist of a comic strip centred on the main character, Paolo, and his friends. The back will contain a collector's card. Children will use the card to play or trade with friends. They've got all the gear, they've got the laptop, they've got presentation, handouts, everybody's nodding in agreement. <laughs> Maybe we should have done some practice. Well, thank you very much for that presentation. I think it was really good. Well done. Thank you. In the pit, we worked well as a team because we all contributed something to the pitch and it went well. The big shots waste no time in presenting their sherbet-based frizz with their mocked-up packaging. We would like, if possible, a strawberry crisp a pineapple crisp and an orange crisp. There would be like a seam that runs inside the packet there that's got chocolate sauce in. We're thinking to have the colour of pineapple, strawberry and orange um, as part of the colourful pack. You can also see that we have that on the back. A little bit of bonus content, if you like, which is these flying frisbs, which are going to be flying joke discs yep. that we're going to put inside the packet. We hope that frisbs do represent <laughs> a totally new concept <laughs> in potato crisps. I think your idea is fantastic. I think, I mean, one of the things that strikes me is the communication on the pack. Mm -hmm. It doesn't clearly tell me what the product is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But all in all, from an idea point of view, I think it's fantastic. Right. At this stage, my money is on the big shops because it's never been done before. Totally innovative, but the kids were great. Thumbs up on both ideas. The teams now get to work with the factory's experts to turn their products into reality. The big shots work with chief flavorist Jim, while the bright sparks are with graphic designer Lee. We have the main character, Paolo the Pizza. Which we want to send it around. Yeah, so he's like your core character, and then your other characters can also be on the front of the pack, but just not quite as big. With Lee's help, their packaging is beginning to take shape, and the big shots are getting busy working on their bump factor. How much fizz do you want with this sugar? It's fairly high on the fizzy scale. By mixing just enough sugar with sherbet, they get the fizz thereafter. It's very fizzy. Cool. So with the fizz all sorted out, they go to work on the flavours and colouring. That's brilliant. And they've saved the best bit to last, choosing the chocolate sauce. Chocolate's quality, oh. yeah. I'll take the lot. <laughs> <laughs> Time for the teams to swap experts. The Bright Spots go to work with Jim on their pizza sachet flavours. 
Just as he did with the big shots, Jim makes up various tasting samples of each of their flavours so they can decide on their final product. Mmm. Mmm, that's bomb. See, I don't really like that flat stew tomato bit. These ones are flavoured. Oh, yeah. Mm, nice. While the big shots are working with Lee trying to improve their packaging. It looks a bit, it does look like a bag of sweets. It's a bag of sweets, you think we need to get some of those crisps across. The idea is that we'll have some crisps actually on there, yeah. which I think will kind of help. But one thought actually, if you're, trying, if you're struggling to make it, to make people aware that it's crisps, is it, could we actually make it out of crisps or is it a crisp texture or a crinkle cut texture or something? That's, good. That's a good yeah. idea. Yeah. If it's chocolate bomb, we'll kind of add big loops of chocolate coming out of there as oh, well. Yeah. Oh no, that's yeah. good, isn't it? And then we'll just have a kind of explosion. So with both products coming together, what do our experts think? The Bright Sparks idea works really well. I think the kids are going to win it, mainly. I think the packaging's quite close, but I think the flavour for me, the sweet crisps, doesn't sound like it's going to work. It sounds like it's going to be a bit, a bit nasty. But it's not down to Jim or Lee. That's the job of our 25 judges. Both products have now been made, so our teams are at the Beat the Boss HQ to find out which one has bagged the trophy. Big shots. Your product might be good, but it's going to have to be amazing to beat ours. If the judges have got any sense, they'll have definitely voted for us. I'm convinced they've gone with the right flavour, Chris, because everyone likes pizza. We did take a massive gamble on the product, um, and if we lose, I'll put it down to that. Right spots are getting that limo. May the best team win. I'm afraid it's going to be us. Welcome to the Beat the Boss boardroom. Now today, for the very first time, you're going to see your finished products. Okay, well we'll start with the big shots. Let's reveal Frisps. Wow. Oh. Tremendous. It's yes. colourful, it's vibrant, it just looks like you want to rip it open and stick the gooey bit in and eat them. Yeah. And there's exploding sherbet fruit flavours flying off in all directions. We've got the flying frisbs which are contained within the bag. Obi, you have chosen some very unusual flavours. Well, we thought we'd be a bit risky, we experiment, we do something exciting, something new. Well, the crisps are here, the chocolate's there, I think we all need to try. So let's have a go. I've got pineapple. Oh, yeah. That's lovely. Add strawberry. And it's got pineapple. Mm. I like the chocolate. I think Delicious. it's excellent. Okay. Let's see what your competition thinks. I don't think chocolate works on a crisp. I think you should put it back where it belongs, in the trash. It's a mixed bag of reactions there. They're biased, aren't they? Well, let's see what they've got to offer. Bright Sparks, are you ready to see Pizza Party? Yes. yes. Wow! Oh, yeah. That's wow. really good. <gasps> Alan! Wow. I think it's really, really good because you've got all the characters. Oh, wow. On the back you've got the comic and that explains how they all came together. It's just fantastic. Okay, so these crisps are the pizza yeah. and then you put your flavours on top. Shall we have a go? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you've got the Thai sweet chilli, the jacket potato and beans the pineapple and the barbecue. Mmm! Amazing! And that potato and beans is really good. You've also got collector's cards. The main idea is to collect all five, then you can play against your friends. I'm over the moon with that product. Yeah. It's obvious who's won. Well, is it? Let's just find out what the big shots have got to say about Pizza Party. I think it's a great idea. And it's one that we had. And then when we tested it out, none of the kids liked it. Well, I've heard what you both said about your product, but what's important is what did your target market think? If you take a seat, we'll find out. So after a busy morning of sport, our 25 judges are ready to try out the crisps. And to make it fair, they don't know who's made which one. First up, the big shot, Fris. I can't use it. It doesn't yeah, have in your mouth. It's too sweet. I think sweet and savoury put together in this is very, well, it's very nice. Quite tasty, especially with the gooey bit. The packaging is a bit too full up. It's all brown. The right is brown, the background's brown. There's not room for anything else. I like the idea that you can win stuff, especially yeah. that it's not just one packet. If you get Sometimes you get a bomb. free box. Yeah. It's like chocolate, so everyone, everyone likes chocolate. 
I was shocked when I saw a frisk because uh, I thought it was just horrible having <laughs> fruits and chocolate, but it was actually really nice. It was really hey. nice. Next stop is the Bright Sparks Pizza Party. The thing I like about Pizza Party is they have lots of variety. With Pizza Party, I think the packaging was a bit babyish, so I'm not sure I would really buy it. With the Pizza Party flavour sachets, I thought they were an okay idea, but I would prefer them as sauces instead of powders. I think the comic strips are actually like, like short. Short, yeah. The trading card ideas are really good because on packets of crisps, you never really get like trading cards you just have to buy them if i went to the shops i'd find that standing out on the shelf because it's so bright time to vote big shots our judges liked the chocolate flavor but thought the packaging was a bit too brown and Bright Sparks, they liked the trading card idea, but thought your packaging was a little bit babyish. But who did they vote as the overall winner of the Beat the Boss trophy? I have the result right here in my hand. of the Beat the Boss crisp product <laughs> with a mouth-watering 13 votes to 12 oh, I, didn't, I didn't think so I didn't. <laughs> oh. It The Oh, well, well done. Well done. Big Shots, come and get your trophy. I have to say, I am really surprised that you're standing up here. Neil, how do you feel? Genuinely shocked. Frankly, I thought their product was better. Congratulations. There's a limousine outside waiting to whisk you away. A bright spot. I'm very sorry, but it's a bus home for you. Come on, Big Shots, well done. Congratulations. 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 I think both teams really won. Um, in that the difference was just just one single vote. I'm a bit gutted that we lost because I thought our project was really good. We came up with a fantastic product and in my eyes, we're the winners. I am glad we're in the limo because I haven't been on the bus since about 1990. <laughs> <laughs> I am a bit gutted that we're not going in a limo, but this whole experience is tons better than going in a limo. Hard luck, bright spark! Whatever, you're the real losers! The Bright Sparks have done a tremendous job. They really shouldn't give up. I genuinely think they are the big shots of tomorrow.